Welcome to my video on cube roots. And any time that you see this number 3 in the top left corner of the radical, this is what we call a cube root. And the idea is you want to find some number multiplied by itself three times that is equal to the number inside of the root. Okay? And this will make a lot more sense once we get started. So let's get started with this first example. Here we have the cube root of 8. So we need to find a number multiplied by itself three times that is equal to 8. And that's number 2. 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. 4 times 2 is equal to 8. So 2 multiplied by itself three times is equal to 8. So the cube root of 8 is equal to 2. Let's go over a negative example. Here we have the cube root of negative 125. And if you're familiar with square roots or even power roots, anytime you see a negative on the inside of a square root or an even power root, um, you need to use imaginary numbers. It's impossible to, f to find the solution using real numbers. But, but this is not the case for cube roots or any odd powered root. So let's find a number multiplied by itself three times uh, that gives us negative 125. So if we re rewrite this, um, we could rewrite it as negative 5 multiplied by negative 5 multiplied by negative 5. If you multiply negative 5 times negative 5, that gives you a positive 25. And positive 25 times negative 5 is equal to negative 125. So the cube root of negative 125 is equal to negative 5. And these are really basic examples because they are perfect cubes. And notice how our, our answer is a nice whole number. Um, let's say, for example, that we don't have a perfect cube. Let's say we have the cube root of 40. How do we solve this example? And what I like to do is to factor this number inside as much as possible. So if we rewrite this cube root, we know that 40 um, is equal to 2 times 20. And this can still be factored even further. We still have our 2 on the left hand side, and 20 can be rewritten as 2 times 10. And you want to continue this process until you have all prime numbers. Um, we still have our two twos on the left, so we have 2 times 2, and the 10 can be factored even further. 10 can be rewritten as 2 times 5. So now we have completely factored the inside of the root, and we haven't changed anything. 2 times 2 is equal to 4, 4 times 2 is equal to 8, 8 times 5 is equal to 40, and 40 is what we started with. So we still haven't changed anything. And the idea is you want to find groups of 3. Since we have a 3 in our root, uh, we want to find groups of 3. And notice how we have a group of 3 twos inside of the root. And what we want to do is we want to separate these groups of 3. Um, so that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to separate this group of 3 twos. So we have the cube root of the 3 twos being multiplied by each other. And we still have our 5 on the right, so this is being multiplied by the cube root of 5. And this is just a property of roots. Um, you could separate them if they're being multiplied by each other. So now we're getting really close to our solution. Um, on the left-hand side, we have the cube root um, of 2 multiplied by itself 3 times. Uh, the cube root of 2 multiplied by itself 3 times is just 2, and this is being multiplied by the cube root of 5. The cube root of 5 cannot be simplified um, any further, so this is our solution. The cube root of 40 is equal to 2 times the cube root of 5. So I hope this gave you a better idea of cube roots. Um, in my next video, I'm going to go over some more complicated examples, like this one, where we have a fourth root, or higher power roots, and we also have um, some variables x and y um, inside of the root as well. So if you feel like you're confident and you don't need any more practice, and then a uh, great job. But if you want to see some harder examples, uh, check out my next video. Um, I really hope that you are enjoying these, and I will see you in my next one.